welcome to my channel. Well, our friend uh, Slick Slicers just put up a, a very good uh, video on a uh, Jack Wolf knife, you know, giving his opinion on it. And my thoughts on, uh, on, on this, how it affects me, is because indirectly it affects me because in my Danny Dino's, you know, when he had his Danny's clip, um, because of fanboys, um, Eric calls them sycophants, which is, you know, another word for fanboys. Um, because people get so wrapped up in, in something, uh, they go, they go to extremes. I mean, you've know, you got your regular fanboys, you know, that like a particular company or product. All of, you know, I, I consider myself a fanboy of, uh, of different knife manufacturers and stuff. Um, it's all in how you, how far you take your response to something. You know, like if somebody attacks, like this is a Danny's clip. Somebody attacks a Danny's clip. Now, if Danny goes on to every negative comment about his thing to defend it, that's defensive. Well, you know, D Danny was the uh, designer of the knife, you know, so he's got his reputation to defend. So, you know, that's, that's kind of understandable why the manufacturer of the thing would try to defend his reputation. The fanboys take it upon themselves to act like they're the, the, the manufacturer, the, they're Danny Dino, you know. And anytime they see in another comment something bad about Danny's clip, boy, they jump right on and say, you don't know Danny, I know him, you don't know what he's been through, blah, 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 you know. And some people take it to an extreme. For example, I lost a quote-unquote YouTube friend from this because when I did this Danny's clip, boy, he took it upon himself that I was personally attacking him because I was jealous that I don't care that you get a knife for free or that you got a knife or whatever. I don't care. I'm not jealous of the people that do that. I, I understand. Actually, what, like what Eric said, it's an excellent marketing uh, strategy to incorporate YouTube reviewers. But when you promise them a knife that's $300 and you're going to give them one for a year, um, what happens is then it's all down on the personal integrity of the knife reviewer. All right? I don't fault um you know ben for what he did he was in marketing you know so i mean he's he's good at it but uh it's the fanboys it's the fanboys of really anything it can be it, not just this particular one but this is what brought it up you know um the fanboys can get carried away it can get militant like the one that was talking about you know i mean it was starting to threaten me personally all right you know what? We draw the line there. I'm a nice guy and everything, but you threaten me personally, man. I take it personally, and uh, and I get pissed off. And in this case, I cut that person out of my life because, you know, you've gone just a little step too far. You can act like you're a friend and everything, but if you get psychotic with me because you think I was personally attacking you, I made a comic video just for you. Man, you've got narcissistic problems, and you've got issues with anger, and so do I. And you don't want to confront people that have got issues with anger. So, you know, all I'm saying is, uh, the fanboys need to chill out on a lot of this stuff. You should be able to take constructive criticism. If you look at a video and you don't like it, your argument should attack the, uh, the argument itself, not the person. You know, you shouldn't say, well, you're green. I don't like it. You're just jealous because you're a green, jealous dinosaur. Um, well, you know, jealousy might be a valid point, you know, if you think someone's jealous. Uh, if they say they're not, then it comes down to who's lying. You know, well, I, the person that, that's, uh, that tells you they're not jealous that ha probably has a better idea of their own feelings and emotions than you do. You know, as an outside observer, you, you, you may think you know what's going on in someone's mind, but believe me, you don't. 
unless you've been inside that person's mind. And, and no one can really get inside another person's mind in, unless they're that person, you know. So all I'm saying is it's all fun and games, you know. We can, we can have – there's a way to disagree with people, you know. You can look up there and say, well, you know what? I, I personally bought one of these knives, you know, a Danny's clip. <clears throat> I, I have it. I like it. I don't feel like I was ripped off. Uh, I think it's a good, you know, thing, and I, I enjoy everything about it. Fine. You know, that's fine. But if then if you go to another uh, video where somebody criticized it, it's all right to, you know, support your, your, uh, your beliefs. You know, you, you're wanting to justify spending $300 on a, on a knife, and and uh, that has got to influence part of your purchase. You don't want to look bad to other people, you know, and say, well, I made a mistake, so you've got to justify it. And I'm not saying that everybody that bought a $300 knife, you know, was wrong. If if, if you get happiness out of it and you enjoy it, that's, that's as far as the discussion needs to go. It doesn't matter what I think or anybody else thinks. It's up to you, you know. How do you feel about something? And if you really like a knife, like if you really like Danny's clip, Danny's clip will stand on its own. It doesn't need your help. It, it doesn't need you to go in and defend him on every other comment, you know, wherever it's at. Um, because it's, you know, a Danny's clip, then it's going to live on its own merits. And, and if it's all hype, if it was all hyped up, after a while, that hype will wear out. You know, it really will. After after the freebies start come stop coming in, and uh, people's budgets get tightened where they can't afford to spend a three hundred three hundred dollars on a knife, they're gonna look at Danny's clip. You know, they're gonna go for things that perform just as well. The knife is a knife. It all comes down to how it cuts. Yeah, it's not made as expensively. But it's all it all depends on what you want, really. You know, if you want to spend three hundred dollars on a on a knife, uh, no matter where it's made, that's up to you. I mean, that that's your money. If you're spending money on a knife, if you're given a knife that costs three hundred dollars, then your integrity starts to come into question. Now, I'm not saying everybody that got a free Danny's clip when he promoted them to all the knife reviewers and everything. You know, uh, that was a good ploy on Danny's part. Then it comes down to, like I said, the personal integrity of the reviewer. And if you still trust that person to give you an honest review, then um, it really depends on, like I said, you don't know what's going on in the other person's head. They may really depend on that knife, you know, coming in every month. Uh, a brand new one, and, and all the views that they get and everything. And it really could weigh in on their head. Of, they say, there's another old saying, you know, besides don't look a gift horse in the mouth, that um, money, money corrupts. And, and to be given money for your opinion, sooner or later, I mean, it's just like any advertising. If you advertise for somebody, like if... I like Olights. I'm not a sponsor for Olight, but I could sit there and, and rave about Olights. I'm kind of like an Olight fanboy, you know. But I don't go into other forums where they're attacking Olights where somebody says something bad about them and immediately start defending Olight. You know, I look at their opinion and I say, hey, maybe they're right. You know, maybe there are better options out there. And that, that's the way I think we should be about things is don't always sit there and just dismiss it because you've got, you know, you're on this side or that side. I always like to weigh all the options, you know, and uh, to sit there and to just be, you're losing, I think you're losing some of your reasoning process when you start becoming a fanboy. I mean, when, when, you, when you get so wrapped up in a company that you're not willing to overlook the flaws and everything, you got to admit to yourself that some of your reasoning is is being based just upon emotions and not facts. If you can base your opinions on facts and give facts, you know, like other companies that make their knives have no problem showing the manufacturing process. 
They have no problem telling you where their knife is made and actually by what company in that country makes that knife. You know, to keep that a secret, um, because I think the reason is you don't want to know that a Danny's clip is actually just a Rough Rider. That all he's done, see, this is a Rough Rider right here. All he's done is scratched off that Rough Rider number and put his own number on him if he wanted to market this as a, you know, he'd have to get rid of the, he'd have to get rid of that and make it a mystery, you know, his own name. All right, so, yeah, go ahead and hate me for this. You know, I don't really care if you don't like, you know, my opinion on, on people giving opinions. <laughs> um, because I've been given knives for free before, not by the manufacturer, but by people. And it's very, very difficult. I'm just giving you an honest thing. It's very difficult to say, ooh, thanks for that dinosaur, but, you know, he had a hole in his butt. And it looks like he dragged his tail on something. And the paint wasn't done evenly and all that other stuff. Well, gee, yeah, you, you appreciate somebody giving something to you by criticizing it. That's just human nature. They wouldn't make sayings like this. Don't look a gift to orphan in the mouth if it wasn't true, if it didn't happen often enough, you know. So, my thought is, Kudos on the marketing ploy for giving knives to knife reviewers, you know. Um, all reviewers should probably click that thing that this is a paid promotion, and when you see that pop up up there, when you know that it's a paid promotion, then just be aware. You know, you're, you're basically looking at someone who could be a salesman rather than an, an opinion guy. A salesman is paid, you know, given something of value for, you know, selling more of them you know like if you're a car salesman they'll give you a, i don't know if this happens anymore but it used to be they give you like a really good car to drive around and if people ask you of course it's got the dealership name on the back and everything and that's your chance to promote and get another sale because you'll get a commission in this case there are no commissions on this thing i'm just talking about uh how salesmanship and stuff like that works and i'm, I'm no expert on any of this stuff you know if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. And um, I don't dislike a guy, you know, starting off new and, and trying to make it new in a, in a company or, or the business, you know, coming out with uh, different products. I'm not against that. Uh, I'm not jealous. I, I don't want one, really. Please don't give me one. Just like if Eric was going to send, if the guy's going to send you one for free, he'd rather buy it. Um, because I don't want to be beholden that way, you know. <clears throat> I don't want to be on the give me a free knife for a month. I said it right there. I'm turning down $300 a month even if I was going to be offered it, which I probably wouldn't because I wouldn't, <clears throat> I wouldn't accept it. I don't, I don't want to be in that situation. So there you go. As far as fanboys go, I like Rough Riders. I understand their flaws. I don't like the country that they're made of. I don't like the, their government. But I like I like craftsmanship. I like when somebody can turn out something, you know, um, fairly well, inexpensively, because I can afford. I can afford a Danny's clip. I can't afford some special uh, Lanny's clip that costs three hundred dollars. I just can't. And so for me, it's not. It's not that I'm jealous. It's just that it's out of my range. I don't even think about things like that. They're not. It's not good or bad. It's. It's. It doesn't meet the parameter of could I afford it if I wanted it. And uh, frankly, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna save up three hundred dollars to buy. Um. A Lanny's clip when I've got a Danny's clip. That's just me. That's just the way I am. If you don't like it, feel free to unsubscribe or give me a thumbs down or hate this video. If you're going to do criticism, please just attack the issues and not the person. Because if you start attacking me and, and, and my channel and everything, I'm going to block you. Because there's a way to argue things and there's a way to not argue things. And you start getting personal, you start violating laws of logic, you're out of here. <laughs> well, that's just a fair warning right there. So, anyway, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for having your own opinion. I have my own opinion. 
And uh, please keep an open mind about things when you're when you're uh, criticizing stuff. And if you think someone is personally attacking you because they had a dinosaur talking about a Danny's clip, um, you've got issues I can't help you with. So please do not bother me with your issues. Uh, that this person hasn't bothered me with their issues any, after that. It's been fine after that um, because I cut them out of my life. So thanks for watching. I hope you understand this is just my opinion, you know, and uh, I'm entitled to it just like you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.